here trying to do some crappie fishing and right off the bat it seems like my remote is not working for my XI3 so anyway it's not good not a good start but I should have spare batteries and stuff I mean I just changed them they shouldn't be bad we're gonna swap them out and see what happens so Today I'm having to fish a little bit deeper water than I wanted to because the stretch of water that I wanted to fish is completely clogged out with this floating hydrilla. So um, I pulled in there and it was just a mess. So I had to move away from the shore a little farther. So I gotta fish a little bit deeper. Consequently, I will probably have to tow a little bit slower than I normally do. That looks like a fish. Yeah. Pretty good one. Come on, get in here. All right, first fish of the morning, there we go. He's uh, not even close to my biggest so far this year, so he's going back. I actually have plenty of crappie in the freezer, so I do not really need to keep any, but I might keep a select one or two. We'll see. Again, same rod. White. White is getting it done today. Come here. Another pretty good one. Okay. Self release, perfect. Yeah, that one's smaller than the last one. Still a nice, good eating size if I was looking to bring some a bunch home. So. Yeah, so the reason I'm out here today, crappie fishing instead of the lagoon, is weather. Weather's pretty nice overall, but it's supposed to be heavy cloud cover today. Um, so I do see a few breaks in the clouds here, but it generally looks pretty bad. So. That's why I'm on the lake instead of the lagoon. I think it's time for me to make a change. This is, this is too much hydrilla and it's just not working out. So, four out of the six lines that I have out were fouled. Okay, so as you guys can probably tell, I have changed locations. I'm just getting lines back out. There is a lot less hydrilla here. A little bit, but it is much, much better. And so far, the side scan looks pretty clear, so I've not seen a bunch of junk on the sonar. So hopefully it'll help keep my lines from getting so fouled. Oh, there's a fish. This is one right in the middle, so he's probably going to foul up other lines. Let me see if I can get him out. Yeah, he's trying to go through all of them. Let me see. No, he's... Let's see, where is he? Here he is. Cool. Nice. Get up here. All right. First one on a color besides white this morning. So, not that I've caught a lot, but sweet. He's really dark, but small. So, small fish. Very nice though. Nope, all clear. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, 
came off. Well, that's too bad. Looks good. Lure's good. No problem there. He just came off. It happens. Especially on these long rods. You just don't have the stiffness to uh, to hang on to them sometimes. Oh, 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 there's another one. Mark of this. Smells like a good fish. It's on my 10 foot rod though, so it can be deceiving. Yeah, not bad. fat. Nice and fat, but not very long. So, he's not going to do me any good in the derby. But, nice fat fish. So, I'm going to take a quick measure just to be sure. He's probably 13-ish. Yeah. Almost 14 actually, so he's a little bigger than I thought. Almost 14, but not big enough to help me. This does not appear to be a big one at all. Nope, little guy. The littlest one of the day. Alright, this will probably be the last spot of the day, so we'll troll here for a while and see how it goes. Okay, I'm just finishing getting set up and lines out in this last area that I'm going to fish today. Um, now here, I will say that because I'm in line with the main flow of the river now, I'll have a higher chance of getting into some shad and some sunshine bass. Um, so, you get that bycatch. A shad's not really a bycatch because it is part of the derby competition, but, um, you know, the sunshine bass are not. So I really don't want to catch those, and those things are a nightmare. Both of them, actually, both those species are a nightmare. And you've got long lines out because they run horizontally like crazy and jump, and they'll just tangle up all your lines. So <clears throat> that's a part of the reason why I don't fish the main flow of the river very much. Let's see what we got here. Where is he? Come on. Oh, he's getting into these other lines, damn it. He's got a line. Let's see. Not big. Decent one though. <laughs> oh, fish. Of course. Where are you? Come on. Oh boy, I see lines tangled in this one too. Alright, that is not an impressive fish, and it made a big mess. <laughs> Thanks so much. Alright, so let me just say something here while I'm sitting here retying from those couple of fish. Um, for new viewers of the channel, so for you guys that are wondering what I'm doing out here on a lake catching these freshwater species. Um, so, those of you that have watched for a long time, no. But every year, this time of year, um, I always participate in the Central Florida Shad and Crappie Derby. 
Um, now I enjoy freshwater fishing. I don't enjoy it nearly as much as saltwater, but I do both. And as far as the Shad Derby goes, it's a great little locally run tournament uh, put on by Coastal Angler Magazine. And um, I enjoy fishing it. I actually enjoy doing this kind of fishing. I don't like to do it all the time, but it's fun. And uh, and I've done really well in the tournament. In the 10 or 11 years that uh, I've been participating in it, I've actually come in first place three times. I think I won the Shad Derby twice and the uh, Crappie Derby, Crappie Division once. So, um, and usually I do pretty well. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing, if you were wondering. And, uh, you know, this time of year, basically until February, you're going to see me doing this kind of fishing periodically as well as, you know, my typical mosquito lagoon fishing. So, hope you guys like it. I know it's not as exciting as lagoon fishing, but uh, I do enjoy it. So, Another smaller guy. He's not going to do me any favors in the tournament, but still, happy to have him. That's a real nice one. I'm happy with that. Let's see how he measures. I'm not sure if he'll do me any good or not, but he's got to be close. Nope, he's still a little too short. He's about an inch shorter than my biggest one so far this season. So, good fish though. Good, good fish. I'd keep you if I needed any more fish in the freezer, but I don't, so... Feels like a good one. Oh, there's at least one other line caught in him. Darn it. That's always a pain. Get over here. And he's not really that good. You have probably caused me a world of problems. I think every line has fouled up. So, thanks for nothing. I just put this guy back out. Oh boy, that's a tiny one. What is that? <laughs> well, I have to say the day really has improved dramatically since moving the second time so I don't usually like to fish over here like I said because there's so much boat traffic and you get bycatch like stripers and shad that really foul up all your lines but I'm having that issue anyway um, but yeah I'm glad I moved I don't usually fish over here but you know the last couple of trips have been really good elsewhere but this time with all the hydrilla, it just wasn't working out. So over here's getting it done. All right, I just threw the uh, hat camera on just for a little bit here at the end. I obviously I've got a different hat on. This is one of our new Hammer Tech hats. Um, so I haven't ever tried putting a hat camera on them before because the uh, the band around the, the edge is a little bit thin. So I put some padding in there to hold the hat camera better, so I just want to try it out. 
I don't know if I'll uh, use any of the footage from it, but I just want to wear it for a little bit. So, fish. <laughs> he is way up there. go look at that guy again not gonna win me any points in the tournament but still a good one nice fish I, wow, tail's really blue that's beautiful um i wish i needed some to eat but i don't Yeah, literally I'm only going to fish 10 more minutes and then I'm done. The weather's coming apart fast. It's uh, looking like a lot of rain clouds up there. I am at the time that I said I was going to quit. So I'm going to start bringing in rods and packing up. Oh, fish. Oh, this is a, feels like a pretty good fish. Man, he's a mile back there. Eh. Nope, not particularly big. So, probably last fish of the day. I'm pulling all the lines in, so see ya. All right, just finished up my day crappie fishing, and um, it was pretty good overall. I ended up catching 10 or 11 of them. Most of them were pretty good size in the you know, 12 to 13, almost pushing 14 inch range. So those were some good sized fish. Um, as you probably will have already heard me say, um, I do have quite a few crappie fillets in the freezer right now, so I did not keep any today. Um, but, um, you know, it was good. It was still fun. I was really out here just for the derby, trying to get a bigger fish for the tournament. And uh, I did not accomplish that. I got close. I got one that was just brushing 14, but he was not quite there. Um, so I needed a little bit bigger than that. Um, and you know, it was, like I said, it was fun. The, the conditions were really nice. I don't mind the wind out there too much as long as it doesn't get too bad. And it did not get too bad. It was, it was, you know, serviceable. Um, the thing I didn't like was all the, uh, hydrilla. So there was so much floating hydrilla. I had to move several times. I just had a hard time staying away from it. Um, but towards the end there, my, my final move, I did get into some clearer water that only had a little bit of hydrilla. And I caught probably half of my fish there in the last hour or so. So um, again, pretty pretty decent day. Um, the Although there was some broken sunlight early, it quickly turned into full-on thick uh, rain cloud cover. So I think it's going to probably rain here pretty soon. So I'm glad I ended up not going to the lagoon because I don't think it would have been a good lagoon day at all. Uh, especially with the way the wind picked up. But um, I'll get back out there soon, hopefully within a few days. And um, until then, that's it. So see ya.